Hey there, and welcome back to another video on cryptocurrency. Today, we'll be talking about the important first steps to becoming a crypto trader, investor, speculator, millionaire, what have you. So let's get started because there's a lot to cover. As I mentioned in my last video, you're probably going to want to start with Coinbase as they're one of the biggest out there and they're probably one of the easiest. So at this point, I want to recommend that you go and sign up for the sites in the description because the verification process can take a while and it'll be helpful if you can follow along. So at this point, I'll assume you're registered and verified and we can get to the fun part, buying your first crypto. When you log into Coinbase, this is the screen you're greeted with, your dashboard. You're going to want to go up here and to the buy and sell tab. You'll now see that you're greeted with a bunch of different options. So let's break it down. This is the buy page. If you wanted to sell your crypto, though I wouldn't recommend it here, you click on the sell tab. Under that, there are the big three I mentioned yesterday, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Think of them like Visa, MasterCard, American Express. You know, they are accepted everywhere, and that's what makes them the big three. Just to check everything is what you want, the ledger to the right hand side does a nice job of displaying your order. So let's kick this off. I first select my desired method of payment, in this case my credit card, because it gives me instant access to the crypto funds, whereas a bank transfer would take about seven days, which is not very good when you're making a video. Next, I'll select the crypto I want, Litecoin, and here you can see my current limit for purchases with my credit card is $448. This is based around the verification process I mentioned earlier. I can select this option to buy the max amount of Litecoin that my limit will allow, in this case 9.28 Litecoins. It's worth pausing here to mention, and this is a good frequent question, that you can buy fractions of any cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin or Litecoin. Just like how a dollar can be split into cents, a crypto coin is divisible into many pieces. However, where a dollar can only be split 100 times, cryptocurrency is based on math and code, so any infinitesimally small division is possible. So with that being said, we can see I'm getting the fairest amount of crypto for my money. You may wonder why the displayed max amount that I am buying is $17 less than the $448 limit I mentioned earlier. On the right hand side ledger we can see that Coinbase is charging a $17.19 fee for this transaction or 3.99%. That is a bit egregious, and certainly this is not something you want to have to do every time you purchase crypto. But thankfully, this high fee is merely paying for the privilege of gaining instant access to my new crypto funds. Were I to buy with a bank transfer instead, the fee would only be 1.5%. In a later video, I'll show you how to, to get that down to a 0% fee. But for the purposes of this video, we'll accept this fee. I now click on the obnoxiously big buy button. They don't want you to miss it. And we can see that the sale has been confirmed. To further confirm that I've received my new Litecoins, I will click the Send tab. And clicking this here will show me that I have indeed received my Litecoins to my account's Litecoin wallet. And that's it. We have officially acquired cryptocurrency and all the bragging rights it comes with. I'm just kidding. If your intention is just to buy and hold Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin, that's it. You're done. However, I would strongly advise that you take your cryptocurrency off Coinbase and into a secure wallet so that if Coinbase is ever compromised, you won't lose your coins to some hacker. For everyone else that intends to acquire some of the other 1,000 plus cryptocurrencies and assets, Buying Litecoin or Ethereum or Bitcoin is just the first step. This is because there are two kinds of exchanges in the crypto market. Fiat exchanges, like Coinbase, and crypto exchanges. So, now that we've exchanged our fiat for crypto, we need to transfer our crypto from the fiat exchange to the crypto exchange. I know that was complicated, play it back if you need to. Once we do that, we can trade it for other cryptocurrencies, and that's exactly what I'll be showing you how to do tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and feel free to email me with any questions at crypto at readysetgorilla.com.